Let's do this. Alright guys, welcome back. We're here with Clash Royale and I'm pretty excited about this. I gotta say, let's go ahead and donate here. I've begun using a new deck. You can see I'm at 2604. I only lost about 100 trophies, but look at the card levels. Level 2 Poison Spell and a level 7 and level 7 Minions. I've begun using this with extreme success. I finally found a giant poison deck that worked. I was like, okay, what? I need a giant poison deck. How can I do this? I initially thought giant poison sparky. That didn't work. And then bowler. I put in the bowler, and it worked out perfectly. I put the minions in for the fire spirits because the fire spirits weren't doing too much since I was facing mostly level 10s. Minions working very well at level 6 and 7. So I just wanted to do a few replays and show you how this works. reason I haven't upgraded these guys yet is because um, I'm a little unsure. I just started using this deck. I, I don't want to jump the gun. I want to be able to keep saving. Oh, we got a tournament. You know what? Let's actually battle in here and see how how that um this deck works out. So you guys can see a live attack. Good luck. Double thumbs up. This is the tournament level, though, so our barbs are level 9. Um, Zap is still the same. Everything is still the same except our barbs. So we're going to start where this guy starts. Okay, that. We're going to go bomber to counter that directly. There you go. Okay, we're going to start in the back with a bowler. Okay, he's going to split those archers. We're going to head this side because that's where the archer went. I'm okay if he pick, ticks off at my tower gonna drop our giant in front our bowler will handle those guys pretty darn easily and there we go we got that and we're gonna drop in the poison to do some easy chip damage he's gonna fireball the bowler not 100% sure why he would do that but look at our bowler just wrecking those small troops and down goes the witch and now our bowler is free to get some chip damage oh my goodness this guy cannot do anything against the bowler are you kidding me? Now lag. Luckily, though, Thor was up there, so if he does go into something, shouldn't be too, too big. Oh boy, a hog. However, it just got there. We got lucky there. Oh boy, that was not very good. We're going to keep this push going and send our Ice Wizard in. Hopefully, he can slow down that bomber a little bit. No, he will not be able to. The bomber is such a good card. You guys really should start using that. It's a true statement. Pretty darn good card, in my opinion. Really undervalued, too. He got a buff recently in damage. His health decrease didn't even matter. He wasn't even meant to be for health. But a damage increase for the bomber, I saw that. I was like, oh my goodness. And I had already been using him for a little while. Okay, so our bomber is going to take out those skeletons. I'm going to hope that my bomber can... Okay, they're going to fireball. I'm going to poison now. Bowler is doing some work, and down goes the tower. We're going to keep pushing this side. Down goes the the uh, Ice Wizard. Down goes the Bomber. Another Bomber. Our Bomber takes that out. Second Bowler is in. He's going to take out the Spear Goblins and head for the tower as well. Going to save up a little bit of Elixir now. There goes the Giant. No, I accidentally poisoned my own tower. Oops. And there comes a witch. However, we're still in good shape. I'm going to... Oh, wow. That is possibly the worst zap of 2016 right there. However, our giant should... No, does not take down the tower. We're just going to poison his king tower because why not? We're going to troll him a little bit. Going to drop our level 7 minions above the archers. And there you go. Nearly a 3 crown... Would have been if I actually played the Barbarians and then played the Poison with the Giant, but no big deal right there. We get a win in tournament play. Going to donate a mini P.E.K.K.A. Going to go... They need to fix that badly. Let's battle again in the tournament. Why Why not? Live attacks are better. Anyway, here's level 9. Um, let's see how this does. I haven't actually really tried this too, too much in tournament play. Plus, my Giant is only level 6, which is not good. And drop our bomber in the back. He's going to go hog. I'm going to go barbarians to take out that hog. No damage done by his hog. We're going to go giant over there. And now he's got two things to deal with. He's got barbarians coming in. 
He's going to fireball that and use Barbarians, even though I have a Bomber. However, because my Giant is such a low level, it is actually going to get taken out by the Barbarians. Okay, our Ice Wizard, though, is going to do some damage, so we are way up now on tower damage compared to him. We've got our Bowler and our Minions in. We're going to starve the Bowler at the back next. There goes our Bowler. Only level 2 Bowler. He needs to get up to level 3 very soon. I need to get some of him from the shop. Okay, once we hit max, we're... Okay, a Valkyrie, which means we have to be careful here. Uh, let's go Bomber, because the Bowler will knock him back, and Minions. Oh boy, the Wizard, though. Very well played on him, using the Wizard. And the Bowler is not hitting both of them at once. How? Oh no, there we go. Oh, a, ro a Royal Giant did not see that coming. I want to play the Ice Wizard as well here, because the Royal Giant is just so strong. Gonna drop our giant in front of the ice wizard. He does fireball. However, our giant is in front, so the ice wizard should do some work here. We're gonna poison to get rid of those minions. One of them is outside the poison, though. It even looks from here like he's in the poison. Wow, that's pretty shocking. Um, okay, we're gonna go here, here. All right. Almost taken down this tower. Gonna zap the tower to get a hit from the minion, and the bomber will finish it off. Okay. Now we gotta start pushing for this side. Bowler in the back. Giant in the front. Ice Wizard. Minions, where's the Valkyrie? We're going to anticipate play the playing of something. We're going to drop a bowler in the middle. Oh, I think he gave up. We're going to drop a giant here in the middle. However, we're not going to be able to take down his king tower in time. But it, this deck is destroying so far in me using it this tournament. And that's of low levels, too. My giant needs to get up to a higher level by far, at least level 7 to be at tournament level. Okay, where are we now? Let's go again. Alrighty, let's see. We have the bowler. I'm going to start with the bomber. Well, depending on what he plays here. I think I'm just going to start with the bomber. Yep, a royal giant. Okay, so another royal giant. I'm not too, too concerned. I can take him out. It's just a question of, will I let him do any sort of damage? Let's let that... Okay, we're going to drop... Oh, no. He timed that fireball super well right there. And he's going to zap away. Seriously, the bowler is throwing a boulder. It should really knock back all troops, including the royal giant. There goes our giant, though we lost the... One of tower health there, and an inferno. Perhaps the biggest weakness of this deck. My giant is not strong enough to even reach an inferno. I can see my bowler is only able to get two shots, being that it's level two. So this deck will be extremely powerful once my troops get to a higher level. That is for sure. Okay, we're going to start with the bomber in the back like last time. And we're going to get ready for the ice wizard here. Alrighty, and there, here's our Barbarians. Um, yep, Wizard, so we need to use the Barbs. Seriously, the Royal Giant, even though I used that much Elixir, still managed to get some shots off. Alright, we're gonna hope that he doesn't play the Inferno here, since it's only our Bowler, and be able to poison. Yep, we're gonna poison that. We're going to minion over here to get rid of the miner. No problems. Okay, here comes the royal giant yet again. Our minions are going to go one minion is going to get a swing. We're actually going to use the bowler here. See if we can he can use his fireball. 
before, yep, there we go, before we play the Barbarians, which is perfect. Oh yeah, look at our bomber doing work, and now we've got a huge push coming up here. There's the Inferno. We can poison it, though. Maybe it'll slow it down a little bit. We're going to zap it. Giant takes it out. There's some Barbarians going in. We're going to bomber them. There goes our giant. All of a sudden, we're right back in this. Going to drop our minions here to handle the miner. Take it out. However, he just used a, um, a fireball. He has a fireball, which means he's going to win this no matter what because of fireball damage. We're going to poison... However, our bowler cannot do it, and that is simply game, right? I'm, I, there's no point in me even countering the miner. The fireball would have done enough. We're going to give him a bunch of angry faces because the fireball for the win is not really... I don't like that, having to use that for the win. I do not like that at all. Let's jump right back in here and see what we can do. I don't like you when people like do that. Just to, I don't do it with the poison. Honestly, if I'm just going for a win and I'm near the end, I don't do it with a poison unless if the guy is using a Sparky, Royal Giant, or a Lava Hound. If he's using anything else, I'm going to go to the tower. I just think that's just a cheap move. Alrighty. Come on, no one else wants to battle right now? There we go. Someone in your tournament is looking for a match. And seriously, is it not going to give me that opponent? Give me someone. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. So we barely lost that last one. Okay, he's going to do that. We're going to drop the bomber for an easy takeout. Okay. All right, there's a mini P.E.K.K.A. Going to drop our bowler there to make sure that the mini P.E.K.K.A. does get taken out. Going to drop our giant now in front so the bowler stays alive. And we're with another Inferno. Are you kidding me? However, our Ice Wizard may be able to slow it down enough to, serve, to let her know. I thought our, the lag was delayed a little bit. And I thought that our giant was going to survive. But it did not. However, we are up on tower damage anyway. Oh, a miner too. What the heck is it with people and their legendaries these days? So I draw my ice wizard because I did not think that my um, minions were going to survive. Clearly a mistake right there. And I really don't know what to do right now. Because I'm pretty low on elixir. He is controlling the game right now. Why guards? Why guards to counter that? That's an odd play, but, you know, we're going to take it out. There goes our giant. Giant bomber this time, not you, another Inferno. And I can't actually use the poison there for some damage because of this mini P.E.K.K.A. I need to take him out. Hopefully these barbs can take out the Inferno. Nope, they will not. The Inferno is too powerful. This deck is very vulnerable to the Inferno. Oh boy, there goes another Miner. Miner Poison is so odd. However, he can't win on Poison damage, and I'm not going to let him win on Miner damage. I can't. That's just not right. I'm going to anticipate the Inferno replacement. Yep, there it is. We're going to zap the Inferno in the hope that our giant will finally be able to take it out this time. He does. However, he's going to get taken out by his other troops. We're going to drop off some minions here in the air. Oh boy, why is my ice why is my tower not doing any damage to that? Wow, well this guy is going to win on poison damage. Another inferno. Nothing I can do. There's simply nothing I can do to get past that inferno. Wow, 
Well, we are going to take out the mini P.E.K.K.A., but he seriously is going to win out. Wow. Oh. He seriously... Wow. No, we're giving him the angry faces for that because that is pretty... I don't like it when people win like that. That's just... It's so cheap. Like, why... He he barely did any damage to my tower of his miner. It was mostly his poison doing the damage. And then that last push where my tower, for some reason, changed targets. I don't know why. But seriously, I don't like it when people try to win like that. Okay, we're going to start with our bowler in the back. He is going to start with a P.E.K.K.A. Okay. We're going to put our giant in front here. Going to reinforce there. And there goes the poison. Oh, the value on that poison is huge. And our bomber is going to work. However, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to absolutely wreck the giant. Our bowler, however, is going to do a lot of damage to that P.E.K.K.A., meaning it's going to get taken out, and the Ice Wizard is only going to get a shot. Okay, Ice Wizard in the back. Bowler on the side. Oh, yeah, he just pumped up, which means he's not going to have that that much elixir. This is a perfect push right here. Going to drop our bomber to do some actual damage to that P.E.K.K.A. Our bomber is going to wreck the guards. And this guy's thrown away a lot of elixir. We're going to poison all that. And he survives just a prince right there. So he is P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince. P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince. Pump. Ice Wizard, Zap, Princess. I guarantee you that's this guy's deck. We're going to go Ice Wizard here. The Dark Prince at level 2 is pretty easy to counter. There is the P.E.K.K.A. We're going to go Minions to make sure... Oh no, he's going to play his Ice Wizard. Going to drop our Barbarians in to make sure that P.E.K.K.A. doesn't do anything. And he's going to fireball basically nothing because that, that, those barbs are already low. All right, here goes a giant bowler again. Here's our poison. Going to play this. And there goes giant poison. The giant with the... There we go. I distracted the prince. Well, the Dark Prince is not going to do it. There go our minions to take out that prince without an issue. And for the P.E.K.K.A., we're just going to drop our barbs. And that'll do it. A good game on his part. All righty. Let's see. i got to decide. It's 30 minutes left in this tournament. I don't know. Do I play the way through? Oh, God, why am I donating giants? I'm going to need giants soon. Um, let's keep going here. Well, I'm just basically showing you how this deck works. We've lost what? One? No, we lost two. Okay, two. But they both ended on plays of like ending in like the fireball and the poison. So I don't really can't, I don't really like those. I also don't count the match. If you don't count the matches I've lost on here to Sparky, which I have an extremely difficult time countering, then I basically have a that I have a huge winning record with this deck. Our only thing we could start with there is our giant. Not a big fan of this hand. And he already knows we have a level 6 giant, which is not going to be very good. Okay, but I'm, that's the only thing I've dropped so far. Barbarian split. Okay, we're going to drop that and the ice wizard to get a little push going. We're going to poison all of that because we don't want his pump doing any work. We're going to drop our a P.E.K.K.A. So this guy probably has P.E.K.K.A. To, P.E.K.K.A. To Prince in the Miner. Okay. However, look at the damage that we just did to his tower. And his pump is gone. Which for a P.E.K.K.A. deck, missing your pump is huge. However, it is a max tournament level P.E.K.K.A. Meaning he kills my Barbarians in one hit. 
So we're going to have to drop our bomb here just to make sure he survives. Okay, he's going to drop the pump on the other side. I'm going to let his pump live then because um, obviously I need to push this side. I need to get some more damage done to that tower. Our bomber is not going to get a hit. However, he's going to make those guards one-shottable. Okay, he's going to drop that. We are going to drop our bowler in as well. Why is he saying wow? I don't understand this. Giant Ice Wizard Bowler waiting for the poison. Where are the barbarians? That's what I'm waiting for. Let's poison that and make sure that we take out... Oh, three musketeers! Say what? Go, Bowler! Oh, no. A pack of three musketeers deck? Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to play this now? Because I don't have that much elixir, and he has a ton. I think we're done, guys. I think that tower is gone. Oh, Bowler right in the front. However, he's only going to be able to tank like two shots. Ice Wizard one-shotted, and that is it for that tower, guys. It's gone. And that tower is gone as well. I have nothing to counter the Musketeers. Wow, and I've, I, I can't do anything about this. I literally, I could drop Barbarians there. I literally can't do anything about this. What a turn of events for this guy. I shouldn't have let him pump up. I let him pump up. Why is he saying well played? That was terrible at the end. Because I let him pump up, that's what allowed him to get so much elixir. I mean, I still think he got a lot more elixir than he probably should have. That was a ton but, um, I let him pump up, and that's what did it. And Three Musketeers, you know, I don't have a counter for it. I don't. I mean, I just don't like playing it, and that's that simple. That that and Sparky, I just do not do not play. All right, we're actually going to push for that side, so we're going to get rid of his pump. All righty. Oh, but then he decides to come for this side. So we're just going to use the poison to get rid of that pump. And we're going to push over here to, to get rid of his giant. Giant archers. Okay, I'm not too, too concerned about that. That's barbarians. Counterable. Easy. Unless we all of a sudden play Sparky now. Okay, he's not going to play Sparky. He's going to play Mit. Oh my, we already lost this one, I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm pretty darn sure. Maybe our minions here can finish him off. Oh, barely took him out as he arrowed. I could give him a wow there. I did not think I would be able to counter Sparky like that. Okay, let's go. The bowler is actually pretty good against Sparky. You have the giant in front. He's going to go through it and hit Sparky, which is excellent. Okay, now he should have to worry about our push. We're not going to worry about his pump this time. Okay, I'm anticipating minions. We're going to poison that. Wow, what a bad play with the minions there. We're going to be able to get that tower super low. And he still hasn't even touched us. However, Sparky is going to be an issue. There is no doubt about that. Okay, we're going to play Bowler in the back. There it is. We're actually going to poison all that, because why not? That should take out Sparky. Yes, it does, meaning we are going to play Barbarians now. And a second bowler. Oh, no, I didn't see his giant and his Sparky. However, I think we have too big of a push going here on this tower. Yes, we took that out. We're going to surround Sparky right there. And we're going to poison these guys because we should be able to win that on poison damage. 
And yes, you guys know, I do not like winning on poison damage like that. But it's a sparky deck. Yes! I didn't even see it. I was focused on countering and thought I was going to lose to Sparky. But we do it, guys. And we take it. And we didn't even take it out with Poison Damage. And we get gold. Oh, I didn't realize we get gold for tournament matches. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's get right back in there. Uh, Good luck. Double thumbs up. For this level 9 here, who's at 151. He may be number 1 in the tournament right now. Which means we're like, I'd never be in a number 1 in a tournament in any tournament play I've done in the past. Okay, he's going to start right off the bat with a Dark Prince Minion Horde. We're simply going to zap that. However, he's got two minions there that are doing some work, but we're going to take them out. Those minions are not going to get a hit. I need to get mine to higher level if I want to do chip damage like that, and it could turn out to be pretty good. But I'm not upgrading them right now because I need to make sure I'm set. Actually, I may do it in this video. I'm actually pretty darn set on this deck. Dragon, I'm going to let go. I'm not... Okay, never mind. I can't I can't let go of those guys. And right from there, we've got a giant bowler deck built up right there. Oh, the Valkyrie. Let's make sure to poison that. However, that's it. I'm out of elixir. I can't do anything about it. Can't do anything about that. And I can't do anything about this either. Oh my goodness. Like, how did he have that elixir? Did, like, he didn't really, like, he countered that with a good, with a good amount of the Valkyrie and that, and he still had enough for the Hog Rider. Some parts of Clash Royale I just don't understand. Some people have more, way more elixir than they should have. Nope, and that's it for that tower, too. No, never mind. It's not it. All right. Gonna go bowler. Giant. You're not playing any air on me. We're gonna play Ice Wizard here. I want to get your Ice Wizard pretty weak pretty early. And there goes our bomber now to do damage to the Valkyrie here. The wizard is going to go down in the poison. However, we're not able to take out the tower despite all that. We're taking out a tower. However, it's so low. He's got this one in the bag, no doubt about it. Nope, that's it. And we're giving him the angry faces there for sure. All right, well, we had, he had so much elixir early and we were unable to do anything. However, this deck is turning out extreme. Oh, we're in Frozen Peak now. Nice. I like. I actually really do like Frozen Peak. By far my favorite arena design. Um, this is actually turning out really darn well. It's just for me, like, do I... Oh, yep, I figured that. It's like for me, do I really want to waste all my gold that I've been saving to upgrade all these cards after one day of using this deck? I just, I just don't know if it's smart. I do not, I don't know if I should test it over multiple days or not. Okay, we're going to draw Bowler, Ice Wizard, and the Bomber to make sure that we do something. However, he may have a poison right here. Wow, what a waste of arrows. Oh, come on, Giant. Five Elixir right there. Now we've got a big push of our own. Another Valkyrie, though. I feel like I'm the only person in Clash Royale who doesn't use the Valkyrie. Poison that, so you are not playing any... Oh, wow, what a good placement of the Witch right there. Oh, we're going to zap those guys to get rid of them. Wow, look at this. We're going for a three crown here, guys. 
This guy could not handle our deck. Hmm. Slowest battle ever right there between those ice wizards until he played an actual wizard. Okay, bowler for the wizard. Oh, I want to upgrade these cards so badly, but at the same time, I want to save my goal because the truth is, what if there's other cards that I could upgrade? What if me learning the trifecta is better than me focusing on this? Like, I don't... I don't know that yet. I can't be sure. We're going to drop the bowler here just to do some damage to the witch as well. Oh, boy. Wow, they turned really darn, darn well there, though, to take that out. There goes a giant again. Another ice wizard, and we're getting ready for a poison here. Oh, we left the match. Poison that. Go, troops. Go. We're going to zap it all. Get a three crown. Yeah. Whew. All righty. Another three crown right there out of this deck. Oh, someone in our tournament is looking, so I'm going in immediately. Huh, this is just like, oh, because like that's f I need to upgrade these guys again. So that's four thousand. So I'd I'd um I'd spend six thousand gold if I wanted to get this deck base little because the zap I don't really care about the upgrade. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should after what now nah, in a wait after one day. I've got to wait. As much as I want to get to Legendary Arena, I have no idea if it's going to work or not. That's the thing. I want to find a deck that I know can get me to Legendary Arena. Plus, the Valkyrie is probably what I want to upgrade since it's so powerful. Okay, Princess over there, so we're going to go Ice Wizard here. Gonna go over our bowler in the back. Okay, we took out his hog for one hit. There goes our giant bowler now. Oh, a minion horde. However, we are gonna get a few shots, so I am okay with that. Our tower will handle those minions with only a swing. So we're up right now. A P.E.K.K.A. A P.E.K.K.A. hog deck. How interesting. I'm going to wait till the wizard comes a little bit closer if possible. To see, actually, we're going to drop these right in the middle. Take out the wizard. Oh boy, not much I can... How did he have enough elixir for the hog after playing a P.E.K.K.A.? See, that doesn't make any sense to me. He just played a P.E.K.K.A. and played a bunch with it to take out my troops, and he had enough for a Hog Rider. We're going to have to zap those goblins. It doesn't even take them out. We're going to have to use our poison there to take those guys out. However, they're still going to do work. 
Okay, we're going to use our giant here to tank a bit so that way our bowler and our bomber can do enough damage. And how did he have enough elixir for the hog? I don't understand how one can have so much elixir. However, now that we've basically taken that wizard out, we can send in our barbarians here. Another wizard! How does this guy have so much elixir? I am... I'm shocked at this guy's deck. Wow! How does he have so much elixir to play a P.E.K.K.A. and all that? I am shocked. How did he have enough elixir for all that? Wow. He either played really well or he was hacking. He had so much elixir. Perfect. A wizard bomber is the right play here because he has no idea. Oh, I played this guy earlier. He literally just cried at every single placement that I played. Your wizard is gone, and there goes our... Haha, -ha, I'll give you the crying face now. How do you feel? Yeah, I'll give you the crying face for a bad move of your Inferno Tower there. A Royal Giant. That's who this guy was. I remember him now. This guy is the worst Royal Giant player you will ever see. Like, not worse than he does it badly, but just the way that he does it is just so sad. We're going to go right here to take the wizard out and that. You know, we're going to poison here. This is actually a pretty darn good push of our barbarians going in. And our bowler, who's going to go right to the tower. Ice wizard is going to slow those guys down. We're going to send in our minions here to make sure that we take him out. Oh, he's going to fireball. This guy won me against me earlier with fireballs. I mean, literally, he would just fireball the tower over and over and over again. It was the most annoying thing ever. That's why I'm so tempted to use a rocket. Like, if I can't figure out ways to get to the tower and beat people, why don't I just rocket their tower? And he's going to miner away my... um. My bomber, he's been doing that a lot. It's an odd play for sure. Poison that inferno. And of course, down goes the giant. Alright, I'm going to try to lure his miner in here. However, he's going to win because the real giant is too OP. Like, if he places it... No matter what, he's going to get some hits. I mean, that is the most annoying. And look now, he's just a few fireballs away. Literally, it's so annoying. Because the Royal Giant, no matter... Here, no matter... I play those Barbarians. No matter what, he's getting one, two shots. And that's it. The Royal That shouldn't happen. He's guaranteed to get shots. That's just not right. It's just not right. It's just too OP of a card. Literally, it's too OP of a card to be in the game. It needs to be nerfed. I mean, this is tournament play. It's extremely... People say in tournament play, he's easy to counter. No, he's so difficult to counter. He's impossible to counter without getting without him getting a few shots off, which excludes the point of even countering him. Ice Wizard. Minions. How is that guy's pump, like, still up, like, full level? My goodness.
I want to get the miner pretty badly, and I will make a mirror miner deck or something. <laughs> A Sparky! Are you kidding me right now? Sparky is so hard to counter. However, here we're going to absolutely wreck it. And we're going to send minions in for some air damage. Oh boy. Look at how OP. My goodness. Gonna poison all of that again. Oh, and he dropped a pump right into it. Why are people cheering for him? Why is Confetti going off on his side? Like, do people like know me and think that I'm like the bad YouTuber or something? I don't know. Sparky. We took it out. Okay, good. Oh boy, we gotta play our barbs there. No choice. We're gonna keep sparking that poison for a long time. We are going to lose this, guys, because of Sparky, just so that way you are aware. I just want to make you all aware of this before it actually does happen. We're going to try to counter it and obviously fail, because now his miner was left alive, and there you go. We lost. Oh, he just pumped up. He just pumped up. And played a giant. Yep, good game. Because I can't do anything about Sparky. You guys know that. Sparky matches, I do not count in my, like, record or whatnot. Because he's just too OP. He's impossible to counter. So difficult to play against. That there's just no point. And look, we were, on, we were almost at 100. We're at 29. Even with constant attacking in the last 40 minutes of a tournament, we are unable to even come close to a prize. Wow. See, I don't like this new tournament setup. Look at how many people don't get cards. I'm 17th out of 50, and I'm not even going to get one card? Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> well, I think I'll go ahead and cut it here then, because there's no way we're going to get any, any, um, any cards. I don't know. I am going to wait. I decided that. I am going to keep requesting the furnace for now. I want to eventually get that to level 9, so... Yeah, I guess that'll be that. We can also, like, I had this deck copied earlier. This one actually doesn't look that that bad. No, 5.3, never mind. That is a deck of tanks. <laughs> well, we will see. This is my old deck. You know what? Let's see if we can try this one in a tournament real quickly. Let's just see how this goes. In a tournament battle. Let's see. Okay. I've been using this deck a lot longer, guys, so if I somehow look better playing it, then that's because I've been using this for so long, the Hog Freeze. This is just a modification of the deck I used to use, like, when I got when I got stuck in Pekka's Playhouse and whatnot, before I even re recorded this. There you go.
Okay, we're going to bomb tower and bomber. That tends to be a very darn good combination. Because they do so much damage that it's awesome. Okay, this is level 8, so we can go in for chip damage with our fire. Actually, let's go in for chip with our... Yeah, let's actually go fire spirits because we have an ice wizard in front. Oh! A dark prince. All right, let's go princess here just to chip away at it. Hopefully take it out. Okay, let's let our princess lock on and go in with the hog. Wow, we just... This guy got wrecked by my hog freeze. Oh no, why did I play the tower? Why did I play the bomb tower? Oh no, that was terrible. That's it. Goodbye to that tower. That's what I don't like about this deck. You run out of elixir so easily compared to the other deck. And look, we're gonna actually going to lose. Yep, that's it. That's why I don't like this deck. Because you just run out of elixir so easily. You run out of elixir so easily with this, and it's only 3.6. This is 3.8. You just run out of elixir so easily with that deck. I hate I hate it because of that. That's why I wasn't able to go any higher. Let's see if we can just get one more battle in before this ends of our new deck. I definitely need a new deck. There's no question about that. That old one is not going to do me any good, no doubt about that. I... I don't understand it. You can run out of elixir so easily. Let's just sit here and see if someone actually battles. I put my phone down for now. <clears throat> Wow, no one's actually going to battle? Wow. Hmm. There we go. We'll give him a crying face. Wow, get wrecked. Even your poison spell couldn't do anything to me. Go Giants. Bowler. Oh, yeah. You're going down, down, down. Say goodbye to your witch. Oh, we got some barbarians coming in. Okay. You know, let's just go ahead and zap to make sure that we take that witch out. I don't want to have to deal with that. Let's leave that push as is. We need to save up some elixir. And there you go, the poison. That would not have been smart to play the bomber. I feel like they increased, like, the smartness of the troops recently, because that Ice Wizard should have been locked on. And it just changed targets. Okay, we're going to drop this. And do this. Oh, wow. A little late on that zap there. There goes our giant. Bowler. I 
Ice Wizard. Minions. Bomber. Poison. He poisons as well. Two bowlers are going in on his tower. And then some barbarians decided to show up to the party. We're going to go ahead and try to win this on poison damage right here. We're going to send our giant right in and see if we can end it right here, right now. Either way, there comes the poison spell. So say rip, and sir, you will not be winning this battle. See, wow, I know. I don't like doing that, but you know what? I, it was the last battle of the tournament, and I don't really care. It has ended. No cards. That guy with like 114 did get cards. Oh, that was a uh, Simon again. Wow, he didn't use his Royal Giant. We were not even close. Well, we were a few off, but like seriously, that should have been a card. Like, come on. That one's fake. Well, that was a good video for sure. Ton of battles right there. Another free chest. Co oh, we got the Mega Minion. Nice. I think they... No, people were not requesting. That was filled up. All right. Well, that was nice. And we only have a few days left till the Inferno Dragon. Hoping for a legendary chest soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more of these constant tournament battles, like, come, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll continue to bring you more and more Clash Royale. Anyway, guys, take care.